for today's tutorial, I'm starting out with the eyes as they're going to be quite heavy. So I'm using some tape to create a nice sharp edge on the edge of my eyelids. And then I'm going in with some primer. This is MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is what I always use to prime my eyelids. And then the first eyeshadow I'm taking is Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. And I'm taking this on a Sigma E40 brush and just buffing this right into the crease and a little bit above where my crease is. Then going in with Makeup Geek Frappe, I'm using this right in the crease again and bringing it right into the inner corners, but I'm really focusing this more so in the crease so it's a little bit more structured. Then I'm going in with Americano, which is again by Makeup Geek, on a more precise blending brush. This is a MAC 217. And I'm just focusing this right on the outer corner against where the tape is and bringing it up into the crease. Then I'm using the Revlon Eye Art. So you get this end, which is kind of like a cream eyeshadow. So I'm applying that first and then using a Real Techniques synthetic brush to blend it out. Um, and you want to use a synthetic brush so that you don't get natural hair bristles all sort of gross. And then I'm taking the sparkly glittery side and I'm just applying this over the top onto the lids. This product does crease so you need to make sure it is completely dry before you sort of start blinking. And because I have hooded eyes it did crease a lot on me so just be aware of that. Um, and I did blend the edges to make sure everything was nice and seamless. Then I just took a black pencil into my tight line and I took then the Maybelline Master Precise Liner in black and I just created a wing. I really felt like this look needed a wing. Then I'm removing the tape and I have a nice crisp line. Just giving my lashes a curl and then applying some Lash Sensational from Maybelline and the falsies that I'm going to use today are from Socialize. These are the Glamorous Lash. So I'm just applying those with some dark lash glue. Onto the face, I'm first priming using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. And then for foundation, I'm mixing together the Too Faced Born This Way foundation with a little drop or two of the custom Cover Drops by Cover Effects. And I'm just applying this to the skin using a Morphe buffing brush. This one is the G6 brush. Then to conceal my face, I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes and down the center of my face. My skin is really dry at the moment, so this just helps add a little bit of moisture to those areas as well as concealing. And I'm just blending everything out using a Real Techniques contour brush to just give a really nice airbrushed effect to the skin. Then to set my face, I am using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus. This is a new one. I went through my other one. So I'm using a Real Techniques Multitask brush to start with. And then for the under eyes, I'm just going in with another contour brush just to get up underneath those under eye bags. <laughs> then for my contour, I'm taking Benefit Hula on a angled brush. And I'm just buffing this underneath my cheekbones and then taking it around my hairline and all of those areas. And then going into the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette, I'm taking this absolutely gorgeous blush called Rose Spritz and applying it to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm using my new favorite from Urban Decay. It is the Afterglow highlight in the shade Sin. I'm just applying this to all the high points of my face and down the center of my face. And I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush to do that. To finish up the eyes, I'm taking Frappe again from Makeup Geek and using my Sigma E40 just to buff this right underneath the lower lash line. And then going in with Americano again and doing the same thing but more so keeping this on the outer third. And then to highlight the inner corners, I'm just using MAC Nylon Eyeshadow and I absolutely love this eyeshadow for my inner corners. And then I'm just coating my lower lashes with some mascara and I'm going in with some Benefit Gimme Brow just to give my brows a nice full effect. I'd already done them, but I just wanted to add this into my brows just to make sure they looked really hair-like and real. Then I'm just going in with this eyeliner from Models Prefer. It's a beautiful goldish bronzy color, and I'm just applying this to my waterline to tie the look together. And then finally for the lips, I'm using this beautiful lip color from Dose of Colors. It is a creamy lipstick in the shade Koi. 
and that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.